Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Interstate 5 Bush Trip by Perfect Flight. Uh, we are in part three of the Ashland Parker to Brown Field, and we are on today, we are on leg three uh, of the uh, eight legs. So that's going to be five legs left after this. So today we are leaving Williams uh, Airport, and we are heading to Stockton Metropolitan and it's about 93 uh, nautical miles so it should take about a half hour and uh, it is uh, uh, again traveling down through the uh, valley uh, the Sacramento Valley and uh, so a lot of flat uh, land so again I'm not going to be doing a lot of narration uh, I am going to let the uh, uh, let the gal do the uh, narration and you can uh, listen to her and then uh, enjoy some music along the way. All right, when I'm over in the cockpit and ready to fly, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I think I am about ready to take off. Uh, we are gonna be flying at 2000 foot elevation. Uh, again, it's the flatlands, it's agricultural, a lot of uh, walnut and olive orchards, uh, fruit orchards, stuff like that. So let's get taken off. We are facing north, so we're going to be swinging back to our south. And once we get swung back around, I'll turn the autopilot on and uh, we'll uh, listen. She'll start narrating here uh, fairly quickly after takeoff. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. And that way, actually... Uh, I am going to leave that up for a moment. Well, no, I'll drop it down. And then uh, by the time I get turned around, uh, she should be done narrating. So let's uh, take off. And Turned the brake off a little quicker than normal, just so I didn't have to look at that. Uh, we knew we had plenty of runway, so off, we're off and going. So let's. Uh, After takeoff resume, following I five toward the nearby Arbuckle. Arbuckle is a small town located in Calusa County. It is known for its agricultural industry, particularly its almond and walnut production. The town has a quiet and rural feel and home of several parks and recreational areas, including the Calusa Sacramento River State Recreation Area and the Gray Lodge Wildlife Area. Okay, we should be about on course here. So let's go ahead and set our autopilot and that should be swinging us around a little bit. Again, she just talked about our buncle after, after takeoff, we were, were gonna be uh, swinging around and continuing to follow I-5. And so what I'm gonna do is when we get to this spot here, I will uh, point this out and uh, let you uh, see if you can see what uh, I see on, as far as on the pictures. And so, yeah, let's uh, hop outside the cab and enjoy the flight.
this area right here as we're coming up to it is the uh i guess the town of arbuncle that's where uh, this is right here you can see this patch right here and so uh you can see where the freeway is making a a turn right through there pass the towns of harrington or hay and dunningham and reach samora it is a small town located in Yolo County with a population of around 2,000 people and is situated between the cities of Woodland and Davis. The town is known for its agricultural production, particularly for growing tomatoes, almonds, and walnuts. Despite its small size, there are several recreational activities available in and around Zamora. The town hosts an annual festival called the Zamora Sausage Festival, where visitors can enjoy live music, food, and drinks. The festival sounds good, doesn't it? The Sausage Festival? All right. Well, off for flying. This picture is this area right in here. And we're just about ready to cross over this area right here. And I think she should be about ready to speak here pretty quick. After about 10 miles, you are at Woodland in Yolo County. It has a population of about 60,000 and is known for its historic downtown agricultural industry and proximity to Sacramento. Woodland was originally founded in 1853 as a hub for the California Pacific Railroad and quickly grew into a thriving agricultural community. Today the city is home to a wide range of businesses, including manufacturing, retail, and healthcare. One of Woodland's strengths is its historic downtown. Visitors can explore the Woodland Opera House, which dates back to 1885, or stroll through Heritage Plaza Park that celebrates the city's agricultural heritage. Okay, this picture right here, there's the lake in the background. That's the lake over there. Here is uh, I-5. Here's the bridge right here, and here's the buildings that you see right in here. Turn left to stay on I-5 and fly over Creekside in the heart of Sonoma County. It is known for its beautiful Creekside setting and scenic views of the surrounding hills and vineyards. 
The community is home to a number of local businesses. Visitors can enjoy hiking and biking along the nearby trails fishing in the local creeks and rivers, or simply relaxing in the peaceful surroundings. The community is also conveniently located within easy driving distance of many of the area's top attractions, including the Sonoma Coast Russian River Valley and the city of Santa Rosa. So this picture right here, it's this area right here. So we're going to be flying right over the top of this, this area right here. Turn right across the Sacramento River and you are in Sacramento, the capital city of the state of California. It is the sixth largest city in California, with population of over 500,000 people. Sacramento is known for its rich history, cultural diversity, and outdoor recreational activities. It is home to several museums, theaters, and galleries, including the Crocker Art Museum and the California State Railroad Museum. The city also boasts a vibrant food and drink scene with a variety of restaurants, bars, and breweries. Outdoor enthusiasts can enjoy hiking, biking, and water activities on the American River, which flows through the city. Sacramento is also a hub for government and politics, as it is home to the California State Capitol and many government offices. following the Sacramento River. Fly over Stone Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. It is a protected area home to a diverse range of native wildlife plants and habitats. The refuge covers over 17,000 acres and is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. It is an important habitat for migratory birds and waterfowl, including the endangered Swainson's hawk and the greater Sandhill crane. It also provides a home for native species, such as the California red-legged frog and the western pond turtle. So I was a little late back there in pointing this out. As you, uh, you know, we were just flying over uh, Sacramento, so uh, I'll try to be a little better on uh, this one coming up.
So I believe we are starting to fly over the uh, uh, Stone Lakes National Wildlife Refuge, which... Uh, Continue for nine miles to Thornton in the northern part of California's Central Valley. It is situated in San Joaquin County, between the cities of Lodi and Stockton. Despite its size, Thornton is a bustling community that is home to a diverse population of residents. The area's agricultural industry is a key contributor to the local economy with crops such as grapes, almonds, and cherries being grown in the surrounding fields. Thornton is also known for its proximity to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, a popular destination for boating, fishing, and other water sports. So yeah, back there was the uh, wildlife refuge. So uh, we are on our way to Thornton and I will be uh, trying to point this out. We are starting to cross over Thornton here. So this picture right here, this area, uh, this right here is this patch, then this patch, and I think this is the uh, town of Thornton. After passing the closed Kingdon Airport, you are at Stockton. With a population of over 300,000 residents, it is one of the largest cities in the state. Stockton has a rich history as a major transportation hub and agricultural center. It is also home to several colleges and universities, including the University of the Pacific. We are uh, starting to enter Stockton here, and so uh, I believe this uh, picture right here is going to be this area right up here. Uh, you can kind of see the bend in the road. Well, you can't see the bend in the road, but you can see where this straightens out, and that's this area right here, and this little lake matches up to this little lake right here. So this is Stockton. And, uh, and then I think she should start talking about our airport coming up here pretty quick, which uh, is the uh, Stockton Metropolitan. Prepare to land at Stockton Metropolitan Airport. It offers commercial flights to Las Vegas and Phoenix through Allegiant Air. The airport also serves as a hub for general aviation activities, including private and business flights, flight training, and aircraft maintenance. In addition, the airport is home to the University of the Pacific's flight training program. Okay, well, when we get close, you'll be able to spot the airport. Uh, just a, a couple of more things regarding the uh, airport uh, once we get there. Uh, it has uh, amenities. Uh, Stockton is the 11th 
largest city in California, and I don't know if she mentioned the uh, population, but it's nearly 4 million, and it's uh, within a 50-mile radius of the airport. So that uh, kind of gives you an idea. Uh, I brought up the uh, Stockton Airport website just to kind of look at it, just to see if there was any additional information. And really, it's uh, basically a uh, uh, pretty nice hub. Again, it, the only airline that I saw flying out of there was Allegiant. So, uh, yeah. All right. I think it's going to be about time. Matter of fact, there's our airport right up there. So I'm going to hop into the cab here pretty quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to actually do that right now so that I can start uh, preparing and uh, land this thing right there. All right. So let's turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. And let's start slowing this thing down considerably. Start swinging over so we can get lined up. And again, you see I-5. I also noticed as I was flying in uh, that there is a, looks like a large uh, railroad transfer station uh, switching yard right here. You can see it just below us as we're flying through. So let's hit a flap. Start coming around here and get lined up. And I am pretty sure that there is a large uh, livestock uh, business out here. And so you have a lot of uh, uh, the Stockton uh, yards right there. Uh, probably transfers a lot of uh, uh, livestock. All right. So I better start paying attention to what I'm doing. And I think we're lined up pretty well. Five hundred. Kind of back off on our throttle. out just a little bit here okay looking good and we are on the ground and let's slow this thing down and we will take the next taxiway off the uh, airstrip should be coming up here pretty quick I believe I could see it from the air and yeah it's just right up ahead right up here off to our right oh let's start uh, swinging this thing around Finally starting to get used to that it does not turn very sharply. So if we start turning now, we'll almost, there we go. And I think we can just go straight ahead. And pull in right over here. There's the tower right there. So yeah, well, I know we're pretty close. I can see. Uh, what looks like an airplane on the other side over there but we are going to park right here okay there we go and leg completed so that was leg number three uh williams uh airport to stockton and uh, the next flight will be from Stockton, and I've got to look to see where we're going. I'm not sure, but that'll be the uh, uh, fourth leg. And so we're starting to get this thing down. Once we uh, get down to the end of California, we'll be able to wrap this thing up. 
All right, all you flight simmers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help the channel. And uh, hit that uh, thumbs up. It will let you know. Ring that bell. I guess uh, hitting the thumbs up is the like button. But uh, ring that bell. It will let you know when I'm uploading new videos. And I am uploading new videos all the time. Okay, all you flight simmers out there. Keep flying away and keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.